Hey, welcome to an episode of In Range. I'm here today with a Benelli M4, but it's not from Benelli. Uh, this is the Saracam SS4 made in Turkey. Yeah, it says Saracam Salah Savunma San made in Turkey. Okay, so otherwise it's an identical gun? Uh, it has a lot of cross compatibility with Benelli parts. The operating system's the same. It's obviously made to look very similar to Benelli M4. Uh, this is not the configuration it's imported in, though. Okay. Uh, be because these guns are imported, they have to, you know, pass a sporting uh, features test, and they can't ship with a full-length magazine tube, for example. And to use a full-length magazine tube, you got to swap out some of the imported parts for domestic parts uh, to be compliant with 922R. So you, this thing has an MSRP of what? 460 bucks as imported, and we can throw up a picture of what it looks like as imported. And then you added a bunch of stuff. It's got an M-lock rail, you extended the magazine. Yeah, to... so the, the US parts I replaced on it were the uh, buttstock assembly. We got a Mesa Tactical Urbino. It did require some fitting to fit around the existing buffer tube. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, Mesa Tactical Truckee 4 end uh, adds M-lock rails up front there, uh, and the magazine tube follower. Uh, those are the easiest parts to swap out with US made parts. And then you extended the mag tube as well. Correct. Okay. Uh, also note, Mesa Tactical uh, sent me the side saddle they make with a rail, and that bolted on uh, without any modifications. I did have to use the OEM screws that came with the shotgun, not the screws that came with the uh, side saddle rail. So all together, what do you think you have into this to turn it into the beast that it is now? Ish. Uh, at it like at MSRP value, probably somewhere between eight fifty to nine hundred dollars total. What you're talking about with the gun involved, right? Which is still how much less than like if you were to buy a Benelli M4. I, I think you'd be looking at somewhere between two thousand to twenty four hundred dollars for the the same stuff. So the... at least half the price, right? Okay. So I am not a shotgun modern shotgun guy. Tell me about the Benelli M4. What is this? Why? What does it do? So the the Benelli M4. The main reason most people are interested in it in the United States is it was uh, adopted as the uh, M1014 by the uh, Marine Corps in the late 90s. When the U.S. Marines needed a new and more lethal combat shotgun, Benelli answered the call. Five samples of the M4 were delivered to the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland on August 4, 1998. Here, the M4 would take on the competition and ultimately be chosen as the new United States Joint Service Combat Shotgun. And it's been featured in a number of video games, which is, you know, the, the main reason a lot of modern guns get popular these days. And what's the operating system? Uh, it is a uh, gas piston system, has dual gas piston rods underneath the uh, handguard there. So there's some gas pistons under here. Yeah. Okay. So it's a gas-operated shotgun, semi-automatic, obviously. Yeah. So accordingly, because uh, the M4s are set up for military buckshot and slug loads, uh, it's not really forgiving for uh, lighter sporting loads. Uh, that said, uh, this one so far has run everything I've put through it except for uh, Fiocchi, Slugs, and Buckshot. Doesn't like Fiocchi. Uh, and I think that has something to do with the uh, crimp on the end of the, the cartridge. Uh, the malfunctions I typically had with those were failure to uh, eject. Okay. So like something about the way that the crimp was coming on and didn't seem to quite like. Uh, but everything else I shot through it, it cycled no problem. Okay. Well, I know you've got a bunch of match footage with this that we're splicing into the video. Yeah. And I probably should get some rounds through it as well. Yep, sounds good. All right, let's try it. All right, so I've got a dog's lunch of ammo. Take a look at that. Some of it's a little rusty. I don't even know what all of it is. It's, everyone that has shotguns has this box, by the way. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Random stuff in here. This one's green. This one's high brass. This one's blue. That one's red. This is a different one. I don't know, let's find another wire one. I don't know, that one. That's it, all right. And we hit this button to, yep. there, chamber around. Let's see what happens. Good to go? Yep. Safety. All right, let's do one more of those. That's interesting, random crap. One, two. And I will note we have about 800 rounds three, on this gun so far without cleaning it. Four, five, six. 
All right, what was that? There we go, seven. Drop it. Here we go. <laughs> Part of the fun of shooting a shotgun with random ammo is you just don't know what you're gonna get. Well, we just went through 14 rounds, no problem with just random ammo. Let's go ahead and put in some footage from CQB Brutality where we had a shotgun division. By the way, we have shotguns at Handgun Brutality too if you're interested in shooting shotguns. Take a look at brutalitymatches.org for that. But let's splice some footage from CQB Brutality, some of Fagan's matches, and then let's have a conclusion. Okay, so this is the Fiocchi stuff that Fagan said didn't work. Now that the gun's been broken in, let's see if it works now. It's buckshot, got uh, five of these. So we're intentionally putting an ammo that he said wasn't really compatible with this shotgun. So maybe now that it's been shot a bunch, we'll see a different result. Nope. It's interesting that shotguns have this problem and they don't like certain kinds of ammo. Well, out of five, having one failure is too much of a failure. It ran once I cycled the bolt, but obviously if you're gonna use a shotgun, really of any sort, especially a semi-automatic one, but pump as well, any repeater, make sure that the ammo you're using works with your shotgun. It's a weird thing, and something that doesn't work in this gun will work in another, and something that works in the other gun may not work in this one. In this instance, it doesn't like Fiocchi. Okay, so one thing I'm going to say is that that thing has very little recoil impulse considering. It's actually very pleasant to shoot. Yeah, the, the dual gas piston system really eats up a lot of the energy. Yeah, that's something that's interesting about gas-operated guns in general, especially shotguns. So, overall, you've shot a lot with this already. We had a, a, one of our other shooters use it at CQB Brutality, too. and His review was positive. Yeah, it, it just works. It just so. works, which is what the M4 Benelli is known for, correct? Correct. Okay, unless you put Fiocchi in it, apparently. <laughs> So this being a replicant, we know replicants tend to have shorter lifespans than like real humans, for example. This is a replicant of an M4 Benelli. One thing we can't speak to is its resiliency and durability. Right. Uh, that said, got about 800 rounds through it so far. Other than the Fiocchi, no problems. Uh, when I disassembled it to take a look at the internals, I didn't see anything like peening over or indicative of any like metallurgy issues. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's usually the concern people have with, uh, you know, Turkish clones of things is yep. like is is the metallurgy appropriate and uh, the American importers now are like paying a lot more attention to what the factories are doing and uh -huh. requesting uh, you know process improvements that kind of thing so they're generally putting out a better product that's being imported than you know just a few years ago well I mean we've seen this with a bunch of Turkish stuff right now we did a bunch of reviews of the T-Sauce mm -hmm. pistols and absolutely every one of them was amazing Right. Like, excellent. Now, this isn't the same company, but it's from Turkey, and this is another example of, um, I remember a while back, Turkish shotguns weren't all that. It seemed no. like they were a problem. No, they, like, I, I regularly see people buying those, like, Im imported, like, Turkish mag-fed things, and the parts just, like, breaking at three-gun matches. So, so maybe not all created equal? No. But in terms of this one, if you're looking for an M4 Benelli clone replicant at less than half the price, this seems like it's good to go. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, we're going to keep using it. It's a great loaner gun, you know, we're running the brutality matches. It's, uh -huh. uh, I'll probably keep throwing it at people like, hey, you want to shoot a shotgun? Here you go. But all the other thing I didn't mention, it has a superb trigger. Yeah, the trigger's, almost, trigger's pretty nice. It's a shotgun. It's like a match grade trigger. It's really superb. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, so how did we get this? Did you buy it? Uh, the uh, importer sent it to me. They did send it to for you. For review. But all the components on it you purchased. Uh, Mesa Tactical sent me the components uh, oh, to verify right. compatibility. So, nice. Uh, you know, that was nice of Mesa Tactical to do. And I gave him some feedback. The handguard dropped right in. Side saddle bolted up with different screws. The stock did require a good amount of fitting to bolt up. Different screws. Is it a different thread pitch? Uh, yeah, the thread pitch for the receiver is different between uh, the M4 and, uh, you know, this uh, replica. Not so. surprised. So just using the screws it came with on the original factory rail worked. Okay. Uh, you couldn't use the ones that came with the Mesa Tactical Rail. That said, the ammunition was helpfully paid for partially by patreon.com slash inrangetv. Correct. <laughs>
But that said, we do real reviews regardless. If this thing didn't work, we'd let you know. And in fact, we showed the Fiocchi not working at all. So, you know, it is what it is. But so if you like this kind of content and these sort of unbiased reviews of guns that normally don't get the press they might deserve, either way, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash TV. And if you can't, or you already are, thank you, just share and subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends because the YouTube algorithm doesn't favor gun content in general and certainly doesn't favor us for some reason. But pretty cool gun, and it's fun to be able to do a positive review of something. Stay tuned for more.